Hello friends! In today's video we are finally getting around to tackling the potato patch and getting ready for winter. And we will also be bringing you into our Alaska kitchen to cook some of our harvest. Hope you enjoy coming along. Hey. Whoa Weston, where are you in there? It's Saturday afternoon and as you can see it still looks half like winter out here half like fall we still have leaves on the trees we have to tackle our outdoor projects there is a long list of things that we've got to do before winter hits we did not get to them in time this year because as you've seen over the last couple of days the snow came really early so we are going to tackle the potato patch the carrots poses whatever and bring you along so we actually don't get snowball snow very often so um the snow has been super wet and heavy. Let's go assess the damage in the potato patch. All right, here's our potato patch. The boys did come out here on Sunday with their cousins and picked this first row. But we've got probably one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven more rows to get. I know there's some carrots hiding in this. Oh, got our work cut out for us. I started by cleaning snow from the carrot patch so that we could even see where to begin picking. Oh, yeah. This is a. This is a. One bucket, two bucket, pig, mac, wap. Help me. The trees. Rum. The trees and turns on. The monkey, mom. Then that, and then jumping down. And then jumping down, and then jumping down. When Mark came outside with Everett, he began to work on the potatoes. All right, I finished the carrot patch. We got this bucket full of carrots. We'll clean them up. Still working on the potatoes. They're stuck. <laughs> you dug yourself in, huh? Stop. Get up and put it over here. I need some hot chocolate. I did just have some hot chocolate. Everett, oh, Everett, I know, I know. You, you needed gloves and... He wouldn't let me put them on and he wouldn't let me put on his full suit. And stuff, so. I know. so now he's... We go through this with every four-year-old at the beginning of the season. You have to... Learn the hard okay, way that it's Western. cold Start if you don't. That oh, that's a good little set of potatoes, Bennett. Really good. Oh. A big one. Wow. Another big one? Holy, Holy cow, Bennett. Happy Holy cow. That's amazing. Oh, wow, another one right there. I hit that. I don't so think we, we are, that. whenever we pick potatoes, it's always inevitable that we end up cutting into some. So we always make a pile of cut ones and then ones that are whole so that we use up the cut ones first. Okay, Everett is putting his boots back on. Everett, what's wrong with you? I can't. Your hands are cold. It is very cold out here. Okay. A Lego? What's a Lego doing out here? So to help Everett warm up his hands, I'm going to take him in the garage and we're going to clean our bucket of carrots. And my hands. And his hands. Mom, 
Yes, when you dig down in the dirt, it is very, very cold, covered in snow. Luckily, it hasn't frozen, like, solid. I think we're gonna be okay. We were able to get this stuff out. Uh, nope, it wasn't locked. So when we wash the carrots and the potatoes, we don't wanna have a bunch of dirt going down our drain into our septic. So we always wash them into some sort of bucket and then we'll dump that outside. Here's our pile of carrots. We'll get those taken up to the kitchen in a minute. Lay them all out, see how pretty they are. So recently I've been getting some questions about daylight in Alaska in the winter time. So we're in fall right now, even though it doesn't look like it, it is September 25th, I think it is now. And we are at about 13 hours of daylight. Sunrise has been around 710. Sunset is around 8:10, so right around 13 hours of daylight. Now, the way that they track it is we are losing five minutes and 40 seconds of daylight every single day until winter solstice, December, is it December 21st, I wanna say? So if you can calculate that from here, we get down to a very short amount of daylight, and we'll try and document that here for you on the channel as we go through the winter. If you wanna see more like day-to-day -day stuff, like what the temperature is here, when the daylight is, um, you can go follow me over on Instagram. I kind of I try and post the temperature here every day, what the weather conditions are. Um, so if you're interested in that. One thing we do have to consider having chickens is light for them. If we want them to keep laying throughout the winter, they need about 15 hours, I think it is. I'll have to, I'll have to research and make sure that's the right amount. But I think it's about 15 hours of daylight to continue to lay eggs. So we usually just put a, a lamp on a timer in here so that they can continue to lay some eggs through the winter time. So our coop is semi-insulated. We put down lots of straw throughout the winter for them. And it looks like Mark set up our lamp and then we have it on a timer. It goes on in the mornings and in the evenings so that they get that little bit of extra light on either end that doesn't come naturally. Some straw, they're laying back under there. We got some over there, eggs, yep. This is their favorite corner to lay in right now. Of course, it's so hard to get to. So the reason why we have this whole wall system set up is we used to have the chickens on the back side and they would come out this way through that little door over there. And then we had goats for about a year and they came and went through that big door over there. And we actually really loved the goats. It was really nice. We were milking one. The other one was pregnant and about to have babies. But we were getting eight gallons of milk a week from one goat. Um, and it was really good. Well, the problem is if you've been around for a while, you would know that we don't spend a lot of time at home in the summertime. And it got really difficult to have goats and find people to milk your goats for you at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. So we had to sell the goats to a loving family um, and Move on from that chapter. Footprints in the snow from a chicken. Funny. Let's go, boys. Picking potatoes is kind of like a treasure hunt. It goes slowly and we try to go in order so that we don't miss any potatoes. But eventually we make our way through. It just takes quite a bit of work. We like to take turns on who is shoveling and who is down in the dirt gathering potatoes. But we all take our turn until it's done. All right, we are on the last row of potatoes. The sun decided to come out, so that's nice. 
we're all feeling kind of tired, but got quite a few potatoes. I'll show you here in just a second when we finish up. Just have this last section. I'm working from that side, Mark's working from this side. All right, so this is our harvest for 2021. We <laughs> had to dig it, wait till, I mean, it, it was definitely beyond when we normally would have pulled them out, but we did well. We've got, these are each five gallon buckets plus this cooler. I don't know the size there and I don't know the weight, but a lot. I'm sure we'll be able to eat a lot of potatoes that should last us till well into the late winter. A variety of different potatoes. So you got red potatoes and you got white potatoes. And actually within there, there's a couple varieties of red potatoes and a couple of white. And so we got a whole mix. I don't know what all they are, but they look great. And uh, we, could, we had to separate these ones, ones that we had cut. We're going to wash them off and be eating those right away because they'd probably spoil because we had hit them with the, the shovel. Otherwise, we're going to leave the dirt on them, stick them down in our, our basement, which is probably like 40 degrees in the winter. And it's dark and they'll last till, for several months with no problem all right that was a lot of work mark and i are exhausted we lost kids as we went which in some ways becomes more helpful when <laughs> they're not as involved but in other ways you know you want them to keep sticking it out so hunter and bennett stuck it out almost till the very end hunter was here with us till the end grabbing potatoes so we're done with this step now we got to go close up the hoses and do a little bit more work with these potatoes before we're completely done with this project but this is good till next year all right friends it's time to get these potatoes cleaned up and head into the house get ourselves cleaned up and make some dinner i look rough Ooh, i look dirty and my hair is a mess but we got it done is that half <laughs> I made a cucumber salad with red onion, Italian dressing, and feta cheese because if you watch my Costco video recently, I accidentally bought two things of cucumbers, so I wanna make sure we get through them. Hunter's taken some moose steaks out to the Traeger. Bennett's working on his book report. Weston's working on his book report. Right. Beautiful yes. drawing. Yes. Here, turn it around, thank you. I'm telling. Yep. Just frying up some of our new potatoes dug up today. All right, it's Sunday morning. Mark got us out a nice moose pot roast. We've got our carrots and our potatoes from yesterday, and we are going to make a nice pot roast for us for when we come home from church for dinner. When we label our roasts to put them in the freezer, we label them as either a pot roast, which need to be cooked for a long time. They're a little bit more tough cut of meat. That's what this is. If it's a more tender piece of meat, we label it dry roast, and we'll do that either in the oven or out on the Traeger. So this should be a yummy dinner with, with all things from our harvest. Oh, no, 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 no. I... Traeger? Turn it off, please, hold on. 
on, he's, uh, he's talking. Are each trigger tends to have dot, cow, bear, or pig, or chicken. That's it. Moose, caribou? Moose and table. Yes. How about halibut and salmon? Finger snowboard. Look at that funny carrot. I boiled up a bunch of our eggs today in the Instant Pot. If you've never done it that way, like four minutes in the Instant Pot, it's perfection. Especially if you have fresh eggs um, that are more fresh than like the store-bought ones, they're often really hard to peel, but if you do them in the Instant Pot, they peel really well. Remember when there was a link in our yard? What, a lynx in our yard? Yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. And it was it really was, cool. And it was eating our chicken. It didn't eat any, but it was trying to. These boys love boiled eggs. I, I love them on salads and stuff too. So I always forget to make them. And then when I do, I'm like, we go through them so fast. I'm like, ah, oh, I need to do that more often. All right, our roast smells amazing. It's cooking away. We will eat it when we get home from church. And we gotta go. We gotta go to church. Okay, yeah. finish up your stuff and then we're gonna go. All right, we're back from church. We've got our beautiful roast and carrots and potatoes here. I'm making up some gravy. And then we're going to eat. Put some green beans from Costco this week. going to be a good meal. Finishing out our fall weekend with family game night. Thank you so much for coming along. We hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. That's it. That's all the videos. Bye. I'm doing the budget of a new video coming out next day. That's all the new videos I made, but I'm doing. Make two more videos next day. Buy more beer, any more videos I want. The day.